it's my absolute honor to present the GQ Men of the Year Lifetime Achievement Award to Max Buttercup. That would make a good doorstopper. Um, well, firstly, folks, I'm a little speechless. Uh, I have nothing to hide behind. Maybe here. Um, some of you will know me. Some of you mostly won't know me. So I'm going to do this in three parts. As a photographer, I'm known for uh, my work in... Uh, Condé Nast's Vogue magazines, and that would include French Vogue, British Vogue, American Vogue, German Vogue, etc. But the thing that really breaks us down is that I'm the first Indian photographer of Indian ancestry to have covers of all of these and break the ground. This wasn't made aware to me till about a year ago when one of my hairdressers who works on so many of the beautiful ads I've done and editorials. A Frenchman called Yannick, he said, Max, do you know you are a, the only Indian photographer to make it in the Paris Vogue? And I said, hmm, never thought of it like that. It just was not something I ever thought of. So for those of you sitting there thinking that the impossible is not possible, it is. I continued my work in the other fields, which would include a next highlight and a big trophy for me, which is the New Yorker magazine. I don't know how many of you know the New Yorker, but uh, I wouldn't mind a show of hands to see who knows it. Okay, there's about 10 hands, all right. So, how's this? 1997, Tina Brown, then the editor of the New Yorker, I said, Max, what are you doing tomorrow? And I said, I'm here. She goes, you're going to go on a plane to India and you're going to shoot the India fiction issue. She gave me $15,000. I went off with an assistant and this is what I shot. Vikram Chandra, Rohinton Mystery, Arundhati Roy, Salman Rushdie, Anita Desai, Amita Chowdhury, Kiran Desai, Ada Shakar, Vakil, Vikram Seth, Ramesh Ganeshka. All in one shot. That's a big picture of Indian English writing. It was a phenomenal issue. Also, it was phenomenal because I'd never had a name on my cover, on a cover of, a, of a, certainly in the New Yorker. So it was very exciting to see an Indian photographer's name on the cover of the New Yorker. That hasn't happened. So it was a career achievement. And it was also one of those career achievements which was following Mr. Richard Avedon, who was the first photographer to have had a contract, and it was a joy to follow that. I could list my achievements, and it would just be too much and too many to bore you all, but, you know, musicians, Mick Jagger, blah, 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 it goes on and on and on. You get the picture, I think, now, that uh, that's who I am. But now, I'm gonna move on to something else. The fabrication, the lie, the invention of Max. See, my, I'm not really Max. My real name is Muradukant Shantilal Vadukul. And that is a Gujarati name. My mother was born in Vansajalia in Gujarat. I still speak Gujarati, I can understand it. And time to time it would be useful to have some communication to uh, you know, practice my lingo. Max was an invention because I was born in Kenya. I lived there for nine years. I understood that it was a beautiful life. Family stayed together. You had uncles, relatives, aunts, everybody living in a nice extended family until we experienced political disasters. And at age nine, I moved to England. And for those of you that are in a situation where your lives have changed by uh, things you can't control, uh, going to uh, a school in England, I was named Max. 
to get along, there's no choice. Either you become a Max or you don't exist. So I have become an invention. Underneath it is not really an invention. This is Murada Kant Shantila Padukul. It's kind of a nice name. But the journey took me from Kenya to England, where um, I uh, was hopeless at school. And um, I left school at 16 with what's, what you might call no education. Um, so that no education was actually good because it was helping me uh, learn by myself, uh, self-study. I got to the point eventually of um, leaving the Puritan English society. Um, after showcasing my work in England, nobody really wanted to deal with it. <clears throat> I went to the land of romance, Italy and France, where I understood that maybe they were going to be more kind. I ended up doing all those titles I told you about just now. Italian, French, British, Comte Garçon, Yoji, goes on and on. I ended up marrying an Italian wife, having two kids, the 29, the twins. Okay. That kind of maybe give you a little idea of who Max is, is not really existing. It's really about me as a person that you need to know about. Brings me to the third part of my little episode here because I wrap up. And that is that. Um, Today, I'm here because of the 10th anniversary of Indian GQ, and I must say that is a tremendous achievement. And I'm so honored that Che has approached me and asked me to do a very special project for, for him, which you will see very soon. And uh, I swear to God, it is one hell of a shoot. It is something that definitely you'll be talking about. And um, I'm most proud of it because it's possibly the best shoot I've done in five years. He used two magic words. Yes, he did. <laughs> two magic words, carte blanche. And this is beautiful. It's also a very important project. So it's really strange. My journey has gone from Kenya, India, Paris, Italian wife, living in New York. If you ever saw the film Zorba the Greek, he inherited a total disaster. And that was me. I don't know how everything worked out, but right now, I'm in India and it feels like I've come home. So, I thank you. Thank you all. Especially, Che, from the bottom of my heart, I really mean it. I feel so happy to be here, and especially amongst people I recognize and emotions I know. So thank you so much, all of you.